Robert back here, Bluegrass Bushcraft. I'm going to give you another update on my tiny camper build. I want to be near trees. I want to be near trees. They put me at my ease. Trunk, bow, and leaves. I want to be near trees. I like it in the shade. I like it in a all right, I pretty much got this thing framed. Got the uh, side wall on over there. Got the wall on the end. And I got the roof on, tacked around the edges. Got my back doorway framed in. Added in a couple of extra braces up there at the far end, because that's the end toward the truck. It'll be catching all the wind. So I figured I need a little more support in there. Um, not gonna have time right now because I'm running out of time for the meat. But over here, I'm gonna cut out two more windows, and I'll put the side on over here. Same thing. Have two windows over there, but that'll be later on. The main thing I'm gonna concentrate now is just getting the side on and getting the doorway on back here and uh, that way I can get a tarp over it and uh, get it covered up for uh, this rain is supposed to come in here Saturday kind of dreading it and I'm running out of time before the meet so uh, I'm just going to work on it and do what I can until then and uh, hopefully I have it far enough along where I can bring it to the meet Later on, I'll try to get some windows on this side. I don't want a window here in the front. Like I said, that's where it's going to catch all the wind. But it is coming along. It's solid. It's not going to come off that trailer, I can guarantee you that. But, let me tell you, I am not a carpenter. I never claimed to be. It, this is rough. I mean, it's rough cut, it's rough, it's out of square, out of balance, you name it, it's out. Um, I built the frame and I put the two by sixes on there and I planted them on cutting them off flush with the top of the trailer there. And because uh, the two before was too short, so I went to the two by six and I was going to cut them off flush, but. I decided that would give me, I'll just leave them on there, mount the frame on top of it, and that would give me a couple extra inches headroom inside the camper. So I think it's, I think it's going to work out pretty good. Alright, you all know the routine, like, share, subscribe, God bless. Blooper here for the end, I was using my tote that I keep my bow drills kits in. Or as a sawhorse. Let me see what I've done. <laughs> Ripped right through it. 